All right, y'all, what's going on? It's Combo Breaker 99. I'm back with another post fight analysis video. All right, y'all, Jennifer Maya versus Marina Moreau. This was another fight, man, where I was just kind of like, you know what? I want to just sit back and enjoy it. No prediction because a lot of these fights on this card were 50 50 to me. Jennifer Maya versus Marina Moreau was really a 50 50 fight. I just went out on a limb and I said, you know, what? okay, Marina Moreau. If you have to ask, I think Marina Moreau will win this fight because really, Jennifer Maya hasn't really been, you know, pulling the trigger like she needs to she hasn't really been executing a good game plan in my in my opinion in some of her past fights you know I, I always thought that she could have won those fights with Caitlin Chikagan if she would have you know just sat down on the shots more uh grappled more but you know she just never let her hands go in that fight to really set up any takedowns and even the Jessica I fight that she won I thought she could have stopped Jessica I, but you know she gave Jessica I a lot of chances in that fight so I wasn't really like feeling I, re I really wasn't feeling the momentum of her at the time. And even then, when she stepped in there with Manone, she lost, like, every round. Like, she had good moments, but she still lost every round, even against Manone. So I was like, okay, it's time for her to fight down, and we'll have to see what she can do, right? So taking on Marina Moreau, that was kind of like the logical opponent for her, just to kind of see where she was at at this point. Uh, Marina Moreau, to me, I think she's a very good fighter. You know, boxing and wrestling, all of that. You know, I think she has good she ha she has good skill sets all around. She just hasn't really been active enough. You know, she has a good resume, but she only fights like once a year. Right. So that was really the downfall, I think, with her when it really came down to it. You know, Jennifer Maya may be on the downside, but she stays active. And, um, you know, she does have the skills to take on somebody like Moreau. And she went in there and she won it, in my opinion. She won a clear cut unanimous decision. I had her winning every single round. I thought she clearly outboxed Marina Moreau. Marina Moreau had moments in this fight, but it was just... A few moments where she just did not fully capitalize on where she could have just taken this fight to the ground, got some ground control time in, you know, to really um, just secure some rounds for herself, you know, instead of just trying to strike with uh, Jennifer Maya. Because I think Jennifer Maya pretty much had the striking on lock in this fight. She got into her rhythm and her game plan was to outbox and outwork Marina Moreau. So with her mindset set on that, you know, it should have been up to Marina Moreau to say, OK, Let's go ahead and slow this thing down. Let's get some ground control time in. You know, here and there we'll land some shots, but then we'll we'll kind of um, you know, um, step in close, take this fight to the ground, and just nullify all of that work, right? But it didn't play out that way for um, Jennifer Maya in the first round. She was just on her game. You know, her movement was quick, it was alert, but most of all, she was just letting her hands go this time around. You know, she was she was letting her hands go. Like I said, both fighters can box, but Maya was using more lateral movement and making Moreau reset. You know, she continued to just circle her. Uh, Maya was jabbing and moving, uh, punching straight down the middle on Moreau. You know, Moreau was the longer fighter here, but she was just too slow. Moreau didn't know how to use that length and cut off the cage. So every time she would step in, boom, 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 Moreau would just let her, uh, Maya would just let her hands go and blast her with those right hands. And that's what it was in this fight. Right hand after right hand, just really ripping Moreau, like just ripping her every time she would step in. Um, Moreau, she wasn't ready for that speed. You know, she was moving her head and trying to double the jab a little bit. But uh, Jennifer Maya was just uh, being first, just being first. Every time they would step in, try to go for an exchange, she would let those combinations go. Um, second round, Maya, she was still finding her home with that right hand, but Moreau started to land more in this round. I will say, I will give her that. You know, she did start to land more in this round. Uh, Moreau did catch her a few times with some good stiff shots to the body. A couple of good right hands of herself. But um, Maya was still staying ahead with those combinations. You know, coming up top with the right hand. There were some violent exchanges upstairs in this fight, man. Like, I was surprised, like, how Maya was letting go this time around. Because I haven't seen her do this in a minute. Um, one thing I wanted to see from Moreau was more leg kicks, though. Like, she needed to land more leg kicks in this fight to slow jennifer maya down like if she would land more leg kicks and body shots maybe she would have found more um more head shots you know and that that would have uh, got her more takedowns as well but um second round i know some of y'all thought it was pretty tight which yeah it could have gone either way but i still had gave that round to jennifer maya i thought she uh landed the crisper more significant shots third round to me at this point moreau needed to finish um had to get the fight down to the ground get a submission uh, Jennifer Maya is a good chin, so it's really going to be hard to stop her. So it had to be all ground this time just to try to get that submission win. But um, she just couldn't do it. You know, Jennifer Maya, uh, even though 
at some point her attack was kind of predictable and you could time it. Marina, Marina Monroe just never caught on. You know, she never caught on and just was able to land like one big shot. She did land one good stiff right hand that knocked Jennifer Maya back, but she couldn't follow up. You know, she couldn't really follow up with it. So Jennifer Maya just continued out boxer and outlander in this fight. Um, but yeah, man, it was a good fight. Like I said, violent exchanges, a lot of, um, you know, just a lot of head hunting in this fight and a lot of punches being thrown. Uh, There's really never a slow play, never really a slow pace in this one. So I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good flyweight fight. Um, so yeah, man, um, from here, Jennifer Maya, I think she holds her position, doesn't really move up, doesn't move down, of course. Um, you know, she beat at number 15. So once again, that number 15 spot, it's like a revolving door. Last time it was Molly McCann getting knocked out of there. This time it's going to be Marina Monroe knocked out of there. Who's going to be next in the 15 spot? Miranda Maverick, Natalia Silva, maybe, you know, with those two good wins she has. It could be either between those two. I probably would say Miranda since she racked up two wins first. But, you know, that that spot is a hard spot to keep right now. It just seems like it really is. Um, Jennifer Maya from here. You know, um, I still don't know who she could fight up on. So if she just wants to continue to be that gatekeeper where she is. I'd like to see Casey O'Neill. I'd like to see Casey O'Neill as her next opponent. You know, whenever um, she makes her return, um, I think that's a fight that uh, would be a good test for Casey. She could win it, but I still think Jennifer Mayan has the edge. After what I've seen tonight, with that type of foot movement and those type of combinations on somebody with a lack of defense, I could see Jennifer Mayan winning that fight. But let me know, let me know what y'all think, guys. Uh, who do y'all think is going to get that number 15 spot? Who's the next opponent for Jennifer Maya? Combo Breaker 99. I'm out. Subscribe. Peace.